This week on Simply Ming, the legendary Emmy award-winning television host, amazing artist, and of course, incredible chef Jacques Pepin is gonna join me as we cook chicken liver two ways. Jacques is making chicken livers with mushroom sauce, cranberries, and a little bit of pork, and olive oil small potatoes, along with an incredible chocolate souffle. While I try to mash that with my hot chicken liver mousse with bacon thyme sauce. That's all coming up next as we cook right here at home on Simply Me. I'm so humbled and excited to have Jacques Pepin back in my kitchen. Oh boy. <laughs> Monsieur, merci. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Jacques Thank has you been cooking much. forever, right? At least, I don't uh, know, how, long? how many years? Six, 67 years. 67 years, that's a long time. 1949, I left home. So yeah. you're doing a real martini? I'm making you a real English. martini. Martinis now in this country, first of all, people think it's vodka. It's yeah. traditionally always been gin. Of course. And it's a two to one ratio of of gin uh -huh. to, to vermouth. So we're gonna do four ounces here of gin. Good. So that's three there, and then one more, and then two ounces of vermouth. And by the way, and I know you know this, Jacques, but people don't know this. If your vermouth has been on your bar for a year, uh -huh. it's gone. It's like wine, right? You gotta keep it in your fridge. It's real live product. I have nothing lasting that long at my house. Yeah. <laughs> also traditional is a little bit of orange. And they've heard that yeah, one. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. If you could please yeah, grab yeah. the two coop, just a little hits of, of orange bitters, and that's it. And then we mix this. Look at those glasses. Yeah, wow. right? And if you could, if you don't mind, Jacques, make me two uh, lemon zest. And you want to get this till this glass is really cold, right? You don't want to get it too much so water rises, right? You're drinking the martini because you like the yeah. gin. And the most important thing is a strong gin, a good gin, a tasty yeah, yeah. gin, right? Do you have two people to rub that yes, around? Yes, please, please. Yeah. yeah, of course you know. Do you, do you drink martinis at home, or do you drink well, more wine? I, I drink anything. You, you drink anything? <laughs> Il est français, he's French. Yeah, 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 so I am. You know. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Looks really good. I'm going, <clears throat> going to be in the mood to cook after. Exactly. That. Well, you know, at home, this is how you Look cook. Look at right? that, therapy. You right. look like James Bond here now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been called many things, Jacques. James Bond, not one of them. <laughs> this is gonna get us right in the mood for chicken livers. Look at that. Oh, God. Yeah, to you? Cool. Santé, huh? Santé. Always. Boy. Santé. Santé. Pas mal? Yeah, I like it with a bit of vermouth in it. Yeah, you know, it's right good. Oh, yeah, well, I love straight, it. straight gin is too strong. Yes, right? well, depend on the people. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we right. got to go cook. Do, do I have to finish it? Yeah. No, you don't have to finish it, boy. Let's go cook. Come on. Hey, come over here. No, bring your drink. Bring your drink. Hey, Jacques, what are we cooking? What's your dish? Well, my mother's dish. I mean, you know, when I was a kid, we did right. a lot of chicken liver. See, this is the whole liver here, and you have the separation of two lobes. Very often here, it's not there, but you have the little sack full of the green right. bile. You better cut it off because okay. it's very bitter. So the, we all separate it. In that separate, a little bit little. of that one, and that's it. Basically, so, that's what I have like here. This is like 98% usage, basically, when you buy oh, yeah, chicken livers. Absolutely. Which are incredibly good for you. Yeah. They're incredibly cheap. Incredibly, right? but you cannot right. overcook them. Right. You know, if you overcook them, I mean, they get dry. So anyway, we're going to put some, uh, some olive oil in there. You know, maybe a little bit of butter at the end, but for the okay. time being, the olive oil. And you should do them into one layer, you know, possibly. And you, so you, then you season once they're in the pan? Yeah, yeah, or well, well, even before, that doesn't really matter. You know, in a restaurant, that would be really inexpensive. Salt. Like pepper? Yeah. You put some pepper on top. So how long do you cook each side, Josh? About a minute, minute and a quarter on each side of the load, you know, and that's it. So during that time, we're going to have some garlic. I'm going to do a little bit of a, a shallot for me. Okay. So it's just thin slice or you crush? Uh, you crush, crush and... and uh, Okay. Shallots, right. garlic, mushroom, uh, scallion. And dried cranberries. And dried cranberry, a bit of sweetness at the end. Let me see now. They are cooked enough, so cook them on one side. 
And the other side. So for everyone at home, you know, you, there's always chicken livers in every grocery store, right? You can always find Absolutely, them. Absolutely, yes. And, and when they're cooked well, they're delicious. Absolutely. But when they're seared like this... And not overcooked them, you know, so you want right. them bouncing. It is not foie gras, but it's the same idea, huh? Right. Okay, so a little more of this. That's beautiful. I would never have done it as well. I like to do that because, uh, first, my wife liked that, you know. She was born in New York, but... Right. Puerto Rican Cuban, so she likes she likes chicken liver. Her right. mother was pretty, you know, poor, so you right. know she ate a lot of that type of stuff. Got so it. what you want to do here? See, at that point for me, they are basically cooked and up. Think in right. the center. You want to let them rest here, and you okay. will see a fair amount of the liquid is going out to come out of the liver, and the liquid like you do with kidney, you know, they say it's a right. bit stronger, so uh, you don't want to put it back in the sauce. You know what? My wife will always put it back in the sauce. <laughs> you know. So, That's like me, you do what your wife says always. Are you kidding? Yeah, exactly. When you know, <laughs> Everywhere in the world. <laughs> when you know you're going to lose, yeah, exactly. volunteer. <laughs> Okay, so, so we're, like can we're like charities. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Shallots. Uh, do you want to lie? Garlic? Garlic, yes. Yeah. I have garlic in there. Behind. That's going to cook, you know, beautiful. Okay. Couple of minutes, it will render a little bit of juice. You want the scallion? The scallion in a second. This will cook. Okay. Let's it cook like that. And during that time, I could do my potato here. Explain okay. to you what I did here. Yep. Boiled potato, you know, so you can see. Those are well cooked. So what we want to do is just to empty the, um, the water here. So I'll put that in the sink. There is a sink underneath here, right? Yeah, there is a Good, sink. It's a, real, it's a real kitchen <laughs> job. And you want to do it when it's hot, so that the moisture, okay. the rest of the moisture kind of ev evaporate like this, you know? So and we what? want to add them here. And then after that, you know what you do? I crush them like this. Ah. So obviously they need to be fully cooked potatoes or they won't oh, yeah. crush. And you can have them without the skin or with right. the skin. I like Kind the of skin. like them with right. the skin. It depends on the potato. Now you want a beautiful, very good olive oil, yep. you know, I mean extra the virgin. highest quality extra virgin olive oil on top right. of it, you know. You want to put some coarse salt, you right. know, the, the, the thick Fleur de sel like this, yep. you know. This is top. actually from Maine, from our friend Sam, it, it, Sam Hayward. Oh, that's, oh yeah. that's great, that's terrific. They, they do everything up in Maine. And then on top of this, I put some olive. A bit of olive, you can cut them or have them whole this like this. black olives, pit, pit yes, removed, yes. right? Yes, and some chives. Some chives? You're gonna, chive? You're gonna do the Wait. chive for me? Wait. Ah, maybe a little more olive oil. They absorb a lot. This is... Can be simpler than that, right? Right. This is home this is country really cooking, good. but how okay. good does that look? Awesome, Josh. Now, here we have our mushroom are cooked now. Right. So let's uh, deglaze with a little bit of uh, chicken stock and chicken stock uh, pork, and pork wine. Which first? Yeah, sweet wine. Who doesn't matter? One teaspoon. Uh, more. How yeah. much? Go ahead. Yeah, a little more. A little more. Okay, that's it. And we can put the scallion in there. Wait. So simple, I love this. The scallion there. You can see here, you see the juice? Right. To come out? Right. Not supposed to put it back. No, I'm putting it back to what my wife would be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> and now the thickening agent. You want to test it? What do yeah. you think? Enough salt? Pepper maybe, no? Yeah, a little pepper. I love okay. it. Oh, I love the sweetness of okay. the pork. All right. It really comes through. Now, for more sweetness in it, right. we're putting uh, cranberry here. Okay, dried cranberry. You know, and I thicken it with ketchup. From okay, my day. Okay, time out. You're Jacques Pepin, right? From my, my day. <laughs> you don't need a I have a Johnson. <laughs> so you thicken it with ketchup. Uh, uh, other thickening agent. Now, look, I have the thickening here. Okay, That's this. I've never used ketchup for thickening, but that, like butter, that thickened it faster than yeah. anything. That's amazing. And you want to warm that back in there. And maybe you'll have a little bit of chive for me on top. Chive, oui. And uh, basically, here is our chicken liver here. Different types of sauce. I love this. 
I love this because it was so fast, so simple. A little more cibolette. Come on, sir. Yes, we could have had maybe a little more sauce. That's too late. Mm, well, that's good, though. It looks awesome. With the potato, right? So With we... the potato, yep. There we go. First course. So, when Jacques... This is earthy cooking, right? It's home cooking, simple cooking. I know that's going to be delicious. So we asked Jacques, can you just come do a quick dish? So he does two. Then he says, how about a chocolate souffle on the side? I'm like, oui, pourquoi pas? Pourquoi pas? So don't go away. We're going to make a quick chocolate souffle from the master. All right, Jacques, who is the master, is going to show us how you make a simple five-minute souffle, right? Yeah, uh, this That's is it. chocolate souffle. Well, but everyone's scared uh, to make souffle, Jacques. It's so. true, but there is already a question of substance in the souffle. This is cream. This is chocolate. So you know the mixture okay. is a ganache. Ganache. Yeah. Hot cream on yeah. chocolate. Don't touch it. Yeah, right? or you can put it in the, in the microwave oven okay. for one second or whatever. So here you beat the egg white. Right. Often I, I, I beat it in the uh, egg white, yes. Right. And, oh, yeah, wait a minute. I have another one here. You when you one beat more? your egg white, I don't like to beat it on something like that, something flat. OK. And otherwise, oh, I, So do I, flat, don't do side. Yeah, don't do flat, because otherwise it put shell inside and break uh. the yolk very often. And I think one of the best ways is really to uh, put that on your hand. Right. Separate it like this, too. I mean, usually I don't draw that out. So we can do it with the machine, but you told me we have 10 minutes to kill. So <laughs> we have to... Yeah, because I don't need to cook it. <laughs> so anyway. No, when it's four yolks, it's almost, by the time you get your machine set, you No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have so to you don't put any mash. sugar in yet? Not yet. No, at, okay. at the end, we'll put a little bit. See, that's uh, good, I was taught a little bit of sugar, then more at the end. So you don't do any. You want a little bit of sugar? No, 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 no. Dude, you're Jacques Pepin. I'm just Ming, so. You, uh, you can stir that here, see whether this is melted. That, that yep. chocolate thing, yeah? All right. So just hot cream, like Jacques said, you can use a microwave to heat your cream. Yeah. You pour it on your chocolate. This is bittersweet chocolate, right? Yeah, bittersweet chocolate. And uh, I have the, the sugar here. That kind of stabilizes the egg yolk, the egg right. white one. So you get a really soft peak, then add the sugar. Yeah. Okay. And that basically... That basically hit, yeah, you have that in there. Oh, I say you did it with, huh? Is it good? A ganache. Okay. So you know, you can wear a little bit of that in there. You want to mix it? Uh -huh. So you're tempering it a little bit. Yeah. I love it, because we spend years mastering to make a souffle, and you just, well, it's, it's, it's yeah. easy. Well. We'll see what happens. We'll see what okay. happens. <laughs> and is, okay. so is this, if there's a secret, be gentle yes. here, right? Don't no, mix here, it, right? here, you know, you don't change. The movement is the same with your hand. It's just right. you move the ball with the other hand. Got it. To get to the thing. And that's basically it, you know. So these are buttered and sugared ramekins, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Which is so important so when the souffle rises, it doesn't stick. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Did I make a mess on your car? No, c'est bon. That's why we have a counter. No, that. Uh, okay, and you know what? You can keep that. Uh, you don't have to put it in the oven right away. You don't. No, you can keep. So it. the old Brady Bunch Alice thing that you have to be super quiet. You can't. You can, you can it. keep it for a couple of years. A I couple mean, of maybe years. Not. <laughs> but you can keep it room temp or put it in the fridge. Either one. Either really? one. You know, not too long. See, I have an extra one here. There's a little kid somewhere. You can yeah. put it in there and give that. Yeah, to we can her. cook in that. Why not? Yeah, well, All right, so this is what we're going to do. Because I'm making a hot liver mousse, we're going to let, we're going to test Jacques there. We're going to leave these room temp, and then I'm going to make my liver mousse, and I'm going to put them all in the oven together. OK. All right. You have, you're my sous chef now, Jacques. I'm your sous chef. Yes, we. Yes, what do you, you want are. me to do? Oh, lots of things. <laughs> all right, Jacques, I can't wait to try your souffle. I'm using the same dish, yeah. the ramekin, but it's not going to be a souffle. It's going to be a chicken liver hot mousse. If, if you, you could, butter that, right? Yeah, butter and pan and this is panko, which panko. is breadcrumb. Yeah. Um, and then uh, if you could just fine slice uh, All right. really small. Yeah, OK. Ache. The okay. shallots. I have some bacon here that's been rendering. So this is half a pound of bacon. This is part of the sauce. So we're going to put this, and we're going to actually use a little bit of the bacon fat to cook your shallots, like a tablespoon. All right, so that's ready for your shallots. So when that comes together, so I'm going to make my chicken liver kind of, it's not even a mousse, it's just a filling for chicken liver. So these are all cleaned. 
bunch of chicken livers. How much you have there? Uh, about a pound. About a pound, huh? We're gonna put two eggs whole and then one egg yolk because you don't need that much of the white. Pinch of salt. <laughs> Some fresh thyme. Wow. Merci. So this is the same technique Jacques did for the souffles, but his souffles, he used sugar instead of panko. Yeah. I don't want sugar, obviously, in this savory dish. I'm gonna have Jacques cut up some fresh thyme as well and add to All his right. shallots to make the sauce. This is a very simple bacon sauce, guys. It's just that rendered bacon, and we had a little bit of sour cream at the very end. So this we just puree. All right. Very simply, Let's get this going. And yeah, just- During that time, I do my- Nice and smooth. Thumbs up. Put a little black pepper. All right, that's good. Yeah, yeah that? that's plenty. Merci. Okay. And here we have, um, if you could just do a little time, we'll add to the shallots. Okay. This is charred bell pepper. We literally, like, like a marshal, we just took it to the open filet. Chart all four sides, and then stick it into a bag or cover a bowl with plastic wrap. The, the black skin comes right off. So here we're just gonna do really, just a little bit of small dice of bell pepper that's gonna go inside of the ramekin. Just add a little contrast, a little kind of sweetness of this veg. And we're gonna put it on the very bottom of the ramekin so it won't stop the rising. But again, for the record, this is not a souffle. This is a hot mousse. As you can tell, I didn't lift any egg whites or anything. So I'm gonna just put like that much bell pepper on the bottom. Great. Put okay. that there. A little bit in there. It's not every day you have Jacques Pepin as your sous chef. A little chef. bit in there. Little... <laughs> okay. All right, so then this goes straight in like this. Is that seasoned? This seasoned, yes. Season enough? Yes, it's just terrific. No, merci, t'es gentil. Just to here. So these are gonna take about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on the oven. And your souffles take a what? 14, about 15, 15 minutes. 15, yeah. okay, so we're gonna put his souffles. Jacques, if you don't mind, grab your uh, souffles from the fridge, which you okay. had stored. All right. And I'll, 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 I'll leave the shallots in there. Yep. Okay. I'll watch this. So again, this is just some shallots guys cooking. We just wanna sweat these shallots out in the bacon fat. Okay. And then we have an oven, we're gonna go in together. On I hope we don't confuse them when we serve yeah, them. Yeah, hopefully that not. <laughs> with the bacon so, so this is, how would they spend it in okay. 350 convection. His will take 15, mine will take about 12. Okay. And we're gonna just sweat these shallots, and then we're gonna add the bacon back and a little bit of sour cream, and in about 10, 15 minutes, we're gonna have a beautiful chocolate souffle and then a liver surprise. I hope. I hope. <laughs> J'espère. Jacques. Okay, souffle already. Your souffle. Wow, is like look at that. Awesome. Okay. Look at that. And you're making a quick sauce. Yeah, I'm doing a quick sauce with that. Oh, these are they. Don't drop them. I'm huh? sorry, I know. No, no, I know. And my, oh, my chicken liver mousse are one minute away. Okay. So Beautiful. here, you know, I have some sour cream. You want to rub a little bit of uh, that thing on top. A little orange, yeah, a little orange zest. Awesome. I mean, this is great, those micro plane, you know? I love micro yeah. planes. Okay, a bit of sugar. And that's it. I mean, you serve that with it. I mean, I could put a bit of Grand Marnier in it, but, right. you know, I mean, I don't know if that outfit can afford it, but we didn't get it. I love it. So here, guys, remember okay. we had, Jacques had the shallots that we cooked. We added thyme. We added back the rendered bacon. This is good to go. I'm going to take a little of Jacques' port because port is here, and we just, just a little bit, just a tablespoon to deglaze what's on there. And all of my flavor, you have the chicken flavor. My, my mousse is very livery, right, so to speak. The flavor is this bacon sauce. And then off of flame, we're gonna add our sour cream. So here, okay. here we can add. That looks awesome. And we, we put this in there, on that right. tray here. And I'm in my sour cream. Oh, that looks awesome, Jacques. You know that you can let those souffle go down, and they don't go lower than what you put to start with in it. Right. And then you let it cool off, and you unmold them and serve them with the sauce and mold it. That's nice, too. Parfait. All right, then I have my 
hot liver mousse, all right? So again, please don't compare me with Jacques because these were not souffles, right? But it's a hot chicken liver mousse, which actually looks pretty darn hot. Oh yeah, that's looks right? great. All right, put these, we'll put. My wife would like that better than that, that's for sure. <laughs> You're doing all four, huh? All right. We'll so you want me to put the sugar on it now? No, man. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right. So here we have, this is the umami bomb. This is bacon, right? That will melt. And this has the thyme and sour cream. So this, when you eat it, you just make sure you get a little bit of bacon and sour cream. With every yeah, I, can't, I can't wait to taste this. I can't wait to taste your souffle, Josh. Okay. All right. Because obviously bacon and liver is a classic combination in wow. American cafeterias. Nothing collapsed, so we Nothing can get collapsed. drunk now. Yes, we can. Okay. All right, you grab your sauce, Jacques. Okay. Voila. Right. On y va. Okay, We're gonna go eat. Après vous. All right, Jacques, a little fantastic okay. jammy wine from yeah, very jammy Napa wine. Valley. So I learned Is that from Jacques, by the way, because when you toast this, this way, way, no noise. This way. This okay. way. Merci. I can't wait. I learned to... so much from Jacques. I can't wait to taste that. All right, let's see how this came out. Chicken liver. Now. I tell you, remind me of the taste of what my mother. Really? Used to do it, yeah, yeah, because that... Uh, that, Jacques, if I remind of anything your mother make, I'm so honored that I you wanna... say that. Voila, pomme de terre. You see the chicken liver here? It yeah. tastes like the pink so, inside. So rosé, right? Yeah, still a bit rosé like this, and that's the way, the way it should be, yeah. yeah let's yeah. try that. And, uh, yeah, that's you know, with, with the sauce and you know, sweetness. Oh, my God. So good, Jacques. Mm -hmm. Potato. And the pomme de terre. Oh my God. Never mix with the potatoes. So good. And look at my souffle there. It right. didn't... Uh... Well, they were beautiful when they came out. Yeah. And when you eat them instantly, they're fantastically. But, you know, as I said, they come out, if you see if they come out from the side of the bowl a little bit. Right. You can uh, try to... No one see me do that. You know, you have your souffle oh, coming out like... That. So it's like a souffle cake. And that's warm. Uh, dish like this, you want to... Oh, I love that. that. So even you if your souffle is dégonflé and goes down... You'd say, I did so it on purpose. I did it on if purpose. It goes down. I mean, look at that, perfectly cooked souffle. All right. Oh, you got to try that. Yeah, that's a good vegetable, huh? <laughs> yeah. This is your kale? Mm -hmm. Jacques oh. Pepin's kale is a chocolate souffle. Dude, that is so good. Oh, my God. I just I can't believe I just called you dude. Um. <laughs> Okay, I have something for you here. Oh, yes. One of my panning, and this one is a, is a gicle, you know, one of the reproduction, kind of Provence-like. So, so Master Chef, amazing friend, Jacques. I, I cherish your, our friendship. Thank you. More souffle on top of Yes, <laughs> and an incredible artist. The one and only Jacques Pepin. I cannot thank you enough, my friend. Thank you for that. That's thank going you. right in our living room. Thank you. As thank always, you merci, much. santé. And santé to you, good health, and as always, peace and good eating. And happy cooking. And happy cooking.